For today's math lesson, we, we will be learning one way in which we can prove the Pythagorean Theorem. This lesson corresponds with the common course standard in math for 8th grade in which we need to explain a proof of the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, c being the hypotenuse of a right triangle and a and b being the corresponding sides. The first thing we need to do is create a square and this square will run along side C, our hypotenuse. So we need to build a square that will maintain its properties as we perform the drag test on our triangle. So we will grab one of the points and the line and construct a perpendicular line. We will then use the compass tool and create a circle. And because we know radii are always equal, we know that these are equal sides and therefore can help us create our square. After that we will click on our new points and our original line segment and construct a parallel line. After this we can click the original line segment again and the other original points and construct another perpendicular line, thus creating our square. Now because we don't want those cumbersome um, lines all over the place. We need to grab the line segment tool and create line segments to replace our lines. Now we need to hide, not delete. If you delete, you will lose the properties of all of, of our, our circle and our three lines. So we'll go to display and hide path objects. So we are left with a simple square. Now we want to title this because we know this is going to be our point C and we want to create a quadrilateral interior for our square. So we're going to construct quadrilateral interior. Now we want to pick a cool color, so let's go with light green. After this, we need to create our triangle. So we will cl click on the top, or C, and we will construct a midpoint. With this midpoint, we will now make that the center of our circle and create a circle. We will now place a point on the circle and create two chords. And these two chords at their intersection create a right triangle, which we can show by using the draw tool. And we see as we, we drew, pull this point around our circle, it remains a right triangle the whole time. We can now name our other sides, so we get side A and side B. We want to drag these around so we can see them. Now we can use we need to use our point tool and we can use a tool made, the square tool, which I made before, and we place our squares. Now these these colors are a little bit too dark and it's making it hard to see so we're going to change those colors to green. After this we can hide our circle and our midpoint on line C, go to display, hide objects, and we have our triangle with squares on all of its sides. So we now need to find the areas of these. So we go to measure after selecting all three, and we now have all the measures. So we draw, we can drag these down to their respective squares, and we see that they look like they, they might just add up, possibly. But we're gonna have to show that it does. So we're gonna go to number, and we're gonna go to calculate, bring up our calculator, and we're gonna go side a squared plus b squared. And what's that equal? Surprise, it equals c squared. So, we're pretty sure now that the Pythagorean theorem is going to hold up. But we're not positive. So, we're going to see if it passes the drag test. So we're going to grab our point at the top of our triangle, go to display, and we're going to do animate point. It's going to go around, and we see that though side A and side B and their area of the squares that are upon them 
they're going to change. But this doesn't change. C squared doesn't change even if we change C. We see that it does change, but that A squared and B squared added together does remain the same. And thus we see that the Pythagorean theorem does hold and that we have proved this in this lesson.